you know, Adil Rashid, we look at his analysis and we say that, you know, 81 for 2, 81 is gone for that's, you know, economy of rate of 8.1. He got rid of two set openers. That was very vital because see, Rohit, again, if you look at the pattern of Rohit's centuries, okay, Rohit hits big ones. Rohit rarely hits the 110s and 120s. When Rohit hits a century, tends to go 140, 150, he's hit three double centuries. So to get those two guys at that stage of the game, I thought was very important. 81 for 2 just doesn't tell you the story of how important it was. Mm. And, and there were two beauties, Michael. I mean, from a leg spinner's point of view, a wrong on sneaking through a batsman like Rohit Sharma and then Shikhar Dhawan, who looked so well set for another big one, was again deceived by a wrong run and hit it straight back to Adil Rashid in a good return catch. Yeah, I mean, Rohit's dismissal was just beautiful bowling. Um, you know, and every now and again, you just got to stick your hand up and say, well, bowl. But I think Shikhar Dhawan, he'll be disappointed with that. That was a soft dismissal. You know, in, in the scheme of the game, uh, you know, he's seen a lot of Adil Rashid. You know, you know you can't be playing across that googly. Maybe he didn't pick the googly, but you know that it's... Uh, it's quite a, a soft, easy, you know, kind of shot down the ground. I'd, I'd have preferred to have seen him get out caught on the edge. You know, that, that's my belief in this this modern game. I don't want my players kind of just playing in a timid fashion and giving a, a bowler a nice, easy return chance. I'd, I'd rather get him caught at the deep mid-wicket boundary or trying to play a big sweep shot, you know, being really aggressive rather than being a, a little bit timid. So, um, Rashid has that ability. He has that ability to just just get good players out, you know, at key moments for England. He's done it for, for quite a few years now.